Yo, right, first things first, I just want to say that this video was recorded last week. Um, it is my final video from Freelance. They have now shut the doors. They've laid us off for the time being um, until this coronavirus has been and gone. So yeah, um, it's closed its doors and I recorded this video on Wednesday last week. I hope you enjoy it. It's a bit of a long one. I've cut quite a bit out to try and keep it as short as possible. But yeah, that's enough from me. I hope you enjoy it. Give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down and click that subscribe button. Thank you very much. Be safe, take care, keep washing your hands. Much love. Hello, guys and girls. How are we... Oh, for God's sake. Oh, yeah. That's it, Dee. Put your camera in a new place and forget about it. Make yourself look like a right tool. Hello, guys and girls. How are we all doing? Thank you so much for joining me. My name is Dee. I am a newly passed Class 1 HTV driver. It is Wednesday, 11 o'clock on Wednesday morning. And I am just going to do my last tip at Elmsmere Port. I've done uh, five sand on Monday, seven topsoil on Tuesday, and I've got three left. So this is my third one. So I've got none left, this is my last one. What are you talking about, lad? Sort your acting. I've just passed a thousand followers on Instagram, which is pretty epic. Thank you to everyone that's, you know, sent me a follow request or whatever you call it on Instagram. Um, my name is DD2012 on there, if you want to go and follow me, feel free, I upload pretty much daily. But it's not like, um, it's not like a business channel, it's a personal channel, you know, just like everything on this channel is. It's not just a business, I do this for social interaction and whatnot, so I upload pictures of everything, everything to do with my life. I upload pretty much daily. There you go. It's all fun and, all fun and games. So last week I was out all week, Monday to Friday. I got back Friday morning and I worked the Weybridge at Astley. Learned how to do that, dealing with tipper drivers all day. And uh, yeah, I used to like tipper drivers off for the way they drive, you know, speeding around everywhere and smashing wind mirrors off everybody and pushing in front of people and whatnot. But to be fair, they're all quite pheasant pluckers, really. People waving on a bridge. You get that quite a lot these past uh, this past week or so for some bad reason. I don't know what that's all about. They stand on bridges like that. There you go. So yeah, I worked on Way Bridge, weighing tippers on Friday. That was all all good. You know, learning something new, interacting with people. Uh, washed my truck, polished it, did all my windows and everything. Um, oh no, did I? No, that was on. Oh yeah, did all that Friday morning, then took it in to be serviced. Yeah, so we went for a service on Friday. I picked it up Monday morning. It's got an ABS warning light up, so it's going back in when I finish this week. So yeah, that's been my week. Um, Saturday, something I want to tell you. Obviously, this is not going. To, there's not going to be many people that require this piece of information, but it is important. If you've got a Go Speedy camping stove, just the little square stoves, if you've got a Go Speedy one, take it back and get it replaced because there is a faulty batch knocking about and I had one of them. If you watched my previous video on my first night tramping, it nearly blew me hand off because there's a problem with the locking mechanism. When you click lock to engage the gas canister, it was flicking back up, but every time it was flicking up, it was shooting out a spray of gas. So every time it was going to lock, it was going psh, psh, and spraying out gas. Well, just as I turned the gas on, which had obviously let gas out, and then clicked it, it had unlocked, shot a spray of gas out, and that's what made it go poof, and that's what made me go bah! like a girl. So I took that back without a receipt and they replaced it, no problem, but I've swapped it for a different brand because I didn't want to risk it again. So I've had no problems with this stove. Yeah, I bought some new work pants because them Dunlop ones were driving me daft. It was just too tight. They were, you know, castrating me. It was horrible. So I swapped it for some Dickies. Bought some Dickies ones. I've got some new boots. Paid for by the company, not by me. Dewalt boots. Go me, proper posh. <laughs> so yeah, all is good, all is well. Um, I might be getting laid off pretty soon. 
I think Westlands is. Um, I think they're getting ready to close the doors, to be honest, because all week they've been absolutely packed. They have been chocker. Monday and Tuesday, absolutely chocker. Hundreds of Keedwell trucks in there, hundreds of them. Um, oh, what's that other one called? Is it GPH? HPH. Loads of HPH wagons in there as well. Um, how the guy in Gal on the Weybridge have managed to keep it running smoothly is beyond me because they've not been able to receive no paperwork or anything. They've been writing everything down on pieces of paper like olden days. But they've managed to keep everything running really smoothly. Waiting times have been down. So they've done a fantastic job there on Weybridge. But when I went the last time, it was absolutely empty. It was empty. There was only one other walking floor um, trucking. And I've just heard off Kevin, who's come up for do the shovel for the day that b and Q's have shut the doors or they're shutting the doors tonight which means Westlands are not going to be able to get rid of any of their produce I don't think so I think they might be shutting and I think if they shut I think that's that's lights out for us I think so I might be going elsewhere looking for a bit of work for the time being but I don't know yet if I do I'm going to I'm going to upload a video asking if anyone needs any help um, if if I don't do that, then I'll probably phone Keedwells, Maxi, Jack Richards, Stobarts, all them lot and see if they want any help. It'll only be on a temporary basis because I've been told that if we do close, my job will still be there when we reopen. So I'll be coming back here because I love this place, it's brilliant. Um, I've had a few negative comments on my last video. Um, a couple of people, a few people actually, have said that I'm lying. I'm lying to the camera that this job is horrible this job wrecks lives the job's not what I'm making it out to be um, you know just negative crap and I don't really want to respond to it but this job I'm passionate about it and I do genuinely love my job I love this job obviously I'm in a small truck I'd be better off with a bigger truck an XF or a V8 Scania or a Volvo or whatever anything but not to take away from the fact that I'm driving. I'm driving all day, which is what I love doing. I don't have pressure from my boss. My boss gives me my runs for the week, and that's it. He gives me my runs for the week and lets me go. I found out what I was doing this week on Friday, and that's it. There's none of this, where are you, where are you, why have you only done five? Why have you only done five today, what have you been doing? There's none of that. It's, you know, these are your runs for the week. You've got to get them done by a certain time. So get them done you know it's my job to get them done it's my job not to take the piss it's my job to do my job now if you're battling with a planner you don't like fucking lunatic wowzers reduced numbers of cars on the road but there's still a lot of um what are them what are them things that stop shit from moving that they pour over the that they throw over the edge them you know them shit were what are they called? Were, were, yeah, you know what I'm on about. There's a lot of them on the road still. Um, but anyway, what I was going to say is, uh, if you're battling with a planner that you don't like, or you're working for a company that you don't like, and the job's making you miserable, then go, go to a different company. You know, there's, there's firms now crying out for drivers, literally crying out for drivers. Jack Richards put up a post the other day. If you have three years experience of driving, then apply. Apply for a zero hours contract. There's, if you do your job well, you keep your mouth shut. There's nothing saying that at the end of this coronavirus pandemic, that they're not gonna take you on full time if you do your job well. You know what I mean? So, you know, don't tell me that this job's crap, because it ain't. The job's what you're making. You know what I mean? If you don't like it, then, then you know, go to a different firm. If you don't like driving, go and look at Audi or Lidl or Tesco's. They're, they're again, they're crying out for staff. So go and do something different if you don't like it. Don't tell me that I'm lying about my job because I love it. I love my job. I've been doing it nearly 12 months now, I think. Been doing it 12 months nearly. No, I've not. I've been doing it about eight months. And I've only come across one tit of a planner. One. 
and that was at the fresh fruit and veg place, which I'll never go back to. It was a tip. It was a driver's mate. Didn't have a clue how to organise, you know, transport or HGVs. He didn't have a clue. He was a driver's mate. He didn't even have a, a class two licence. I've just took a picture of that, that truck. And that guy went past them trucks then, not even looking at me. He was looking at his phone in a van. Like that. Bam it. Absolutely bam it. Anyway, anyway, I'll shut up. I'll shut up ranting. I'm going to go and do this tip now. Um, when I was there last time, there was two trucks walking floors in front of me. And um, I had to reverse round him. So if it's like that, I'll put that reverse in for sure. Yeah. There's another Keywells truck here. I wonder if he's been told he can't go into Westlands. Maybe. WV63. So it's not it's not our Jenko. It's not Mr. Jenko, is it? No, he's got wing mirrors. <laughs> so yeah, um, I'm gonna go in here now and do this tip. Yeah, I had a wagon to reverse round earlier on, made it a bit tighter. What's going on here? What's all this, honey? What's he doing? He was just reversing towards me. I wonder if he's been told HPH. I wonder if he's been told he's not there going Westlands. Yeah, something's definitely happening. Something's going on. Anyway, I'll shut up, I'll shut up, I'll shut up. I'll get back to you guys in a minute. Um, we're doing something new. We're going to pick up compost. I've not even told you, have I? I've not even told you. We're going to pick up compost in a place I've never been before. So, I'm going to take you guys with me. And I'll go through the procedure of what I am going to do when I go to a place I've never been before. Because I've not got Nick here to hold my hand through this one. I'm going to be doing it all on my own. Let's just hope I don't get stuck talk to you guys in a bit right so we're tipped in there they're staying open for the time being he's just said so I'm still gonna be in a job for now I think um, I've just been thinking I've done four hours of driving so because this week's video was supposed to be me going into a services and taking you around the services to have a look we might as well go and have a laugh might as well go and have a laugh and I will I will go and reverse onto a bay <laughs> if you follow me on Instagram DD2012 you will see that I posted a picture up last week of my first time trying to reverse onto a bay and uh, I went on the wrong one <laughs> I was aiming for bay 10 and I ended up on bay 11 or bay 9 or one or other. I had no idea how I did it but I did um, so, as long as it's empty, if it's not empty, then forget that. I'm driving past it, going, going home. Um, if it's empty, we'll try and get on a bay. Um, I'll show you what I'm doing, and then you can tell me what I'm doing wrong, if you want to. Oh my lord, there's nobody on it. There's two trucks on it. Get in. Get in, son. Happy days. Happy days. Well, this is going to be alright. Daryl laughs. <laughs> Oosh. Oosh. Right, so, I have literally got all them bears to pick from. All them bears to choose from. So, imagining that it is full. I'm driving down the front of the bays. I'm gonna go for bay 10 again. I can't really see the lines. So what I'm gonna do, what I'm gonna do, they're really narrow here. I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put a can down. Oh. I'm gonna put a bottle of water there. This is my aiming point. Aiming point. Ugh. 
Right. So, I'll put a bottle of water there. That's right at the line of bay 10. So, let's try something. I've heard about five different ways of doing this. So, I am now, well, I'm gonna do it where I am, right here. Wow, these brakes are so stiff. Now, the water bottle's right at the side of me. Right at the side of me. Now, I've been told to do it when it's at the front of your cab. I've been told to do it when the kingpin's in line with it. I'm gonna try it when it's in line with me, and what I'm gonna do now is put a hard left steer on, and I'm gonna to aim towards him. Right. This is not me saying this is how you do it. This is me practicing. I've got time to practice, so I'm gonna practice. So for me and now I've stopped and it's right at the side of me, this bottle. I'm gonna put a full left until I'm about 45 degrees, which I think's there. So I'm heading straight towards you, Mum. Right now. Uh, right, so I'm right there. Now I'm gonna put a little bit of a kink to the left. Not to the right, sorry. And now I can see my water bottle in my mirror, so I'll put you on the mirror now. See. Hey, take this off. If this guy wakes up now, he's gonna be like, oh, what the friggin' hell's going on here? <laughs> what is going on? Right, I've got my wire trapped in my mirror now. Right, can they hear me? I don't know, we'll see. Anyway, so I've got my water bottle. I'm going to put loads and loads of right hand lock on. Loads. Go oh, that way, you know. And I'm going to aim for my water bottle. Oh, too much, too much, you fucking dope. Too much, you dope. Too much, you dope. Oh, I'm gonna flatten my water bottle. Hey, that works so bad, that, to be fair. Let's start again. Let's start again. I did a bit too much, though. Let's start again. Let's go back to uh, this Polish geezer. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yes, as bad as Manchoni. <laughs> right, hand at the bottom of the steering wheel. Let's try again. We'll go right. Right, so we're going to with that boy on here. Right, let's have a get right. A little bit on. A little bit off. We'll come around too sharp again. See now, this is the point now where I'd be smacking that other that trailer because I'm just at completely the wrong angle. This is the problem with me trying to do that. I just can't get the angles right. You know what I mean? I've nearly hit the water bottle, but I'm a. Uh, I'm good at see what I mean. It's just all gone peak tongue. It's all gone peak tongue. Don't know where I'm going. I'm going to bristle by the looks of it. Let's try again. Let's let's not smash my water bottle up. Let's straighten up and let's try again. So it looked like a good angle. That I got first time, but it just looked like I, um, I'm just well, I'm just rubbish. But I suppose if you've never done it before, then it's it's not going to be easy, is it? Right. So what did I need to do then? What angle did I need to take? I don't know. I don't know. Let's do exactly the same thing again. No. Let's let's do it when the water bottle's at the front of the cab. If that makes any difference. Right, full left load. I've got a bit more of a steeper angle this time. Right on lock. Reverse. Right, I'm going to try and come in at a sharper angle. If you stop rotating now, trailer. Oh, oh, water bottle. Oh, oh, water bottle. Water bottle, is that it? Hey, hey, get that out! Go on, DD, son. <laughs> I'm having that. Straighten up a bit. 
Hey. Hey, I'm having that. Look at that. Shut up, same thing twice. Oh, I've done exactly the same thing twice, you feckin' idiot. Oh, God. The simplest bit, just go back in a straight line, you bloody spoon. All you have to do is go back in a straight line, man. What are you doing? Sorry. Sorry, Polish, man. I apologise. Let's go over here and try again. I'm getting some funny looks off these drivers. Is that any wonder? <laughs> this driver, sorry. So the front of bay, uh, 29, 29's got two lines, so we're going to go for that one. Do you know what, I can't even see bay 29. again I'm in. I ain't much straight, but I'm in. <laughs> oh, God. So hard to do. It's unbelievable. Bear 10 again. Oh my lord, this is so 
annoyed. My gosh. Hey, it's so difficult. It is unbelievable. Man. I mean, you can get on them when they're empty, but that is just so hard to do. You know, credit to you, you drivers that do that all day, every day. I suppose it'd come with practice, but getting them angles right is just difficult. Now, I'm going to put that bit in. To be able to do that, it's just, it's just mega. It's just awesome. Um, you think you're straight, and then you bring your unit round, and you're all cockeyed. So I don't know, I don't know what it'd be like trying to do it if it were if it were packed. I'd probably end up hitting something. But then again, this is only that one, two, three. Did I do it three times or four? I did it three or four times. Then that's only I've only done it once before, and that was when I parked here and I got it on wrong bay. So, you know, I've never had anything tight to reverse into, no bays or anything like that. So if you want to call me, call me, you know, call me crap. How long does it take you get onto a bay? Oh my God, you're rubbish, you this, you that. The thing is, I want to show new past drivers what what it's like. You know what I mean? There's some, there might be some people that get it naturally, you know, pick it up like that and just boom, into a bay. Happy days and like, wow, it's easy. But for the majority of people, even me, and it's my dream job, I love it. Doing that is difficult. That is not easy to do. It is difficult to do that. You want to call me feel free crack on but i'm going to put that in i'm going to put it in because it's a good bit of practice i mean i didn't really talk through it but you know it's it's mistakes that people are going to make i mean i'm not even straight now and it's really annoying me i'm cockeyed the unit's not straight with my trailer either which is really annoying i'm gonna have to sort that out i'm gonna have to sort i'll be here for another bloody 15 minutes now trying to sort it out it just does not seem to want to go straight and it looks like I'm different in both my mirrors that looks straight mate oh yeah we're straight now we look alright now <laughs> but yeah that's it's difficult reversing I'm gonna I'm gonna keep doing this I'm gonna keep practicing I'm gonna pre keep practicing these reversing maneuvers um, if I go park, if I go driving for anyone else, I'm gonna have to learn how to back onto a bay, aren't I? And I think I'll be able to do it. I will be able to do it. It's just gonna take practice. The more I do it, the more I'll get better at it. Anyway, I'm gonna try and figure out how to use um, the sheeting on this thing. It's a manual thing. Ah, I've been looking for my milk all week. It's in my bag. Probably gone off. Oh, great. What a dope. What a bloody dog. So yeah, I'm gonna go and try and see if I can work this strap. Let's see if we can figure out how it works because I don't want to drive for two hours with 29 and a half ton of compost on the back so it's just gonna blow off all that M56 in it. So let's go and see how that works, shall we? Right, so my bottle of water's had it. Sorry. Oh if you want to see my truck so you know what I look like. That's my truck. She's filthy and look at that for a straight line. It only took me four hours, but still. Alright, isn't it? I'm absolutely covered in flies. You'd never believe I polished my me, me window this morning, would you? It's covered in flies. Anyway, this sheet, let's see if it still works. Let's see if it still works. There. Here. Good grief. Could have done without that. Bloody hell, fire. All right. And supposedly, <laughs> well, don't like leaving a gapper. <laughs> right, that's got to go in there that you can't see because you're down on me up there. That goes in there. And I've got to wind it, supposedly. How do you wind something that's Ah, not that way. Oh. Good grief. Never. Surely. This is well hard. Oh. 
think it's hard because it's full. Just wait until you see how easy this is the second time I do it. Bloody hell, I'm no weakling, but this is hard work. Oh, grief. Oh, flipping heck. Right, I can safely say that that ain't working. That is not happening. I don't know why. Don't jump off catwalks. All right. I know why. I got told I have to take this off first. First. Right, this has to go over. Oh, you would get stuck, wouldn't you? Oh, that's easier. I'm not gonna lie, I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing. No idea at all. So that goes like that. What am I supposed to do with this? Ties on it. Chin up. Oh. This one comes down here though. Like so. And that one goes up there. Looks pretty cool that. Right. Now we've got to get it back. Hey, that's all right, isn't it? Oh, look at that. Thought it was going to be an absolute nightmare, that. It's all right. Nice. At least I know how to do it now. the bottle with me that I killed
Well. No, I ain't. I ain't getting around that. No way. Uh -uh. That ain't happening. My sat nav wants me to turn left though. I'm sorry, that, that just ain't happening. I ain't getting around that. Not in a million years. Sorry boss. I think I'm gonna have to go up and turn around somewhere. Well that was a bit, <laughs> that was a bit tight like. Tight? You don't know what tight is your flagger. I know, sorry, but for little old me. All right, ABS trailer warning again, nice one. For little old me, that was, um, that was, that was pretty tight that one. Take me time though, nice and easy, steady on, happy days. So we are two miles away. Um, I don't know if you saw on that time lapse, but that old granddad in whatever it was, a silver Volvo, nearly mullered himself when I was coming around that corner. He just carried on driving towards me as I was on the other side of the road for take up some room for get my trailer around. Carried on driving towards me and shook his head. <laughs> Braver than me. I wouldn't have done that, I would have slowed down. But there you go. <laughs> Track pot. Oh, I've just been um when I was on my break, I, I've just been um I've just been um when I was on my break I was watching Average Joe's video, his most recent one where he was parked up in Newport, I think he said. And I'll put my window up just in case it's dead loud. And uh, he'd been to a service station, a services, and he, he had an early start and he wanted a good toilet and he wanted to have a wash and brush his teeth. No wrong with that really, is there after a 15 hour shift? Well, at the beginning of a 15 hour shift, should I say. And um, I had a phone call off my mate as, as well this morning, Al, and he said that he'd parked up at um, a Mackey's Extra and he had the same problem. He couldn't use a toilet, he couldn't use no washing facilities, he couldn't use anything. And the funny thing about them both is they both had to pay, um, Al actually paid 33 quid for his service station stay. Um, because the uh, machine didn't take notes or something. And he put a fiver, fiver in it and it took it or something and then he had to pay 28 quid. It cost him 33 quid altogether. And uh, average Joe had to pay what, thirty quid or whatever. I think that's I think that's absolutely disgusting. I think it's complete a complete disgrace. Can't believe the expect HDV, and I'm not going to say me because I've got it easy. Me, I've got it really easy, um, and I do appreciate that. I'm not talking about myself. I'm talking about other lads. The lads that you know do the fifteen hour shifts and the thirteen hour shifts, and the lads that work six days a week. They ain't even got a place to go to have a shit. I think that's absolutely disgraceful. I mean, having a wash and brushing your teeth, fair enough. You can do it outside of your cab with a bit of water. But not being not being able to go for a dump, that's, that's a bit ridiculous in my books, to be honest. I, I think the, the very, very least these services could do, for one, is half the price. Because, you know, they're not even giving you half the service. So the least they could do is, you know, half the price or, you know, take three quarters off the price or something like that. And at least put a portal loop or a couple of portal loops outside. You know, I, I mean, to be fair, the toilet rolls will probably get nicked, but, you know, at least put a bar of soap in there or something. And a portal loop, surely that's the least you can do for these lads that are supposedly keeping your country running. Oh my lord, look at that view. Oh, stuff the country. Look at that. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, yeah. That is beautiful. That is absolutely gorgeous, isn't it? Oh, see, Wales. Wales is just... Wales is just absolutely amazing. I'm jealous of anyone that's from Wales. Oh, look at that. Oh, I just need... I need a fishing rod now. Oh, God. I hope I'm going right where you. I think I better pull over here, put hazards on before I go any further, and get the old uh, Google Maps out. What does that think? I should have just turned right here because well, can't really go anywhere else, can I? Can't really go anywhere else. I'm not seeing any signs for it yet, though. That's worrying. I'm sure, it's the end of here. 
King spans on my left, so that's good. Bus on a blind bend, that's good. Bus, yes, go. Bus, bus, yes, go. Double sound distribution, very nice. What am I looking for? J and J recycling. I'm looking for Anna. Compostable waste. I'm looking for. Right, just uh, put third hazards on. Here's a minute. I'll get back to you in a couple of seconds. Right, straight down to the bottom and turn left. That's what Google says. Google's telling me to do that. you doing i'm sorry you, I've, i'm already i'm already coming now you, you got me there you got me with that one cop all that the spinny spinny thing you just did then you, you completely threw me off with that one north wales cumry i don't know how, how you make cumry from c y m r u well there you go um right what did i say up to the top and turn up to the top and turn left. The Cirrus turbine deliveries. Really? I don't think so, to be honest, mate. I don't want no blipping turbines. this now oh, no. seven foot height limit 20 yards to the right are you being serious household recycling center something out right here I think I think I've gone it wrong place Something ain't quite right here. Me don't think. I'm gonna have a word with this guy just here in front of me. Because something ain't quite right. I don't think. But I'll see. No, I'm at right place. Really nice couple of blokes. Um, he just went out getting his dinner. He said, park up at Weybridge. I said to him that I've never been here before. He said, park up at Weybridge and I'll come and meet you. Right, okay. <laughs> that was a bit of a chart, one mark. They don't get you much wiggle room on these way bridges, I've got to say. Not for a newbie, anyway. Right. Um, lid. Have his vest. Lid, I've his best gloves. Have you? <laughs> no way. <laughs> you will. I'm, I'm recording now. Yeah. It's the first time I've been here. So I thought I'd press record. Yeah. He said he's going to come out and meet me because I've no idea what I'm doing. This is the first time I've ever been anywhere to pick anything up. And it's, to be honest, it's quite scary bringing this big thing here. You know when you're not used to it? Yeah, well, you'll hear this conversation with yourself then on Friday. <laughs> Craig, thanks a lot, mate, thank you. See you later. Yeah, nice one, mate, thanks a lot. <laughs> so that, that's Craig there, in his tractor. <laughs> I tell you, I tell you, this YouTube malarkey is absolutely crazy. <laughs> Never been here before in my life. I watch you on YouTube. No way. I'll be back in a minute.
Right, so we said go up here, past this machine, and drive right down the side of the green thingy midget giddy bob. But I need loading from this side. I need, no, I need loading from my right hand side. So I think going this way might be, might be the wrong way. loading from the driver's side you see but this way is going to be it's going to turn me around onto my left hand side which is going to be the wrong side oh no it's not because he's picking it up from the right legend legend Right, so we're on for another laugh here. I've got to try and reverse it off this way bridge. With a bit of right hand in it. any left because I'm too close I'm too close to the uh, to the other side I mean I am inches away centimeters away from the other side
So now I have to try and tip two ton off. Now I have to try and tip two ton off. Full to rim, man. Full to rim. Oh. That's what 29 ton of compost looks like. So obviously, oh. I'm gonna have to sheet it. That was a well easier way of doing it. <laughs> Brilliant. Pretty good, eh? Nearly clutch rocker. God, she's coming on. She's coming on, old girl. We're getting some proper work in now. Proper work. Right, I am going this time. I'm going. I'll see you back in Ashley. Ciao for now. Oh, yeah, and don't worry. I remembered my big stick. Right, let's go in here. I've just took my sheet off, pulled it back and whatnot. Let's go in here and get this compost off. And I think after this, I'm gonna park up here and go in the morning. I was gonna make a night of it, but I don't think I can now. I think it's too late, cause it's uh, 10 past four. I don't believe that. I honestly don't believe that. I've just recorded me un unloading and I've just recorded me backing into the garage, which I'm in now. It's that tight. The truck, the uh, shovel, the uh, 
it's pretty tight uh, it's yeah it's hard getting to anyway I can't believe I've just done that and I had the camera setting I don't know if you can see me or not I had the camera setting set to photo so all I've got is a long photo well it's not a long photo it's just a photo absolutely gutted I think I did some talking to the camera as well and I didn't even notice the time clocking down I didn't even notice the time not ticking down or ticking up I've just lost my head now that's really peed me off I can't believe I've just done that um, I remember putting it onto photo as well I don't know why I put it on photo but I remember doing it now oh well I'm sorry about that um, I'm going picking some more compost up tomorrow from a different place so I'll take you there with me I might as well haven't I? Um, and then I'll try and show you me backing into this garage again I did it just then and it took me three attempts it took me about eight minutes altogether to get in it's just trying to find the the bend to get the bend right you need to bend it so it comes around like that in a u-shape so it comes through the gate and it's proper hard to do but anyway i'm a bit gypped off at that this is the end of the video i'll speak to you guys well it'll be next week but thank you for watching if you've stayed to the end click that subscribe button give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down and i'll see you in the next video be safe look after yourself take care speak to you in a bit Bye.